Good morning, boys and girls, and God bless you. Good morning, Mr. Rainer, and God bless you. Today I'll be presenting my bus shelter that I've been working on in honours. My bus shelter will help kids, friends, and fam family and elderly. It will give them shelter from the sun and rain. Did you know that some shelters aren't even shelters? I will add lots of colour, definitely not dull. I will also add lots and 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 lots of books. Because children love colour and books. We looked at some sh bus shelters in Australia and some stop bus stops you, you just stand up and wait for your bus with no shelter. Can you believe it? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. I'm creating a bus shelter. I will include two rooms. The first room is where people will wait for their bus. It will have a TV and math questions. It will also have a comfy bench with comfy cushions. The second room will be a bathroom. It will have speakers to tell people when their bus comes. It will also have a bath. What materials are you, um, am I including? I am real life materials will be steel, corrugated roofing and glass. In my model over there you'll see that there's paddle pop sticks, corrugated cardboard and plastic. You may not be able to see the plastic but it's here. This is my design for that. This is the window. This is the TV that will be flashing. Very educational. And, um, math questions. And the walls will be made of steel. This is a food table just in case people get hungry. Cushions. It'll be extra comfy and plushy. Bench will be extra comfy. And a blanket just for sleeping. But then we might have to install headphones so no one hears the men snoring. <laughs> this is my 3D model. I mean, not my 3D, my digital design. This is my bus shelter. Here are the grapes, the cushions, and here is the toilet. This is the roof, the walls, and another wall. There's a gap in the wall so people can sneak through the wall. And this is a chair. It's, it's quite blurry. Didn't realise that. On mine it's not so blurry. And my chair is brown, my roof is pink and bumpy, and my walls are bumpy. I was hoping I could say smooth, but when you feel paddle pop sticks and then there's one going horizontal, they're not smooth. My chair worked well because it did not fall down and I was planning for it to go and the, the walls were hard to do and to attach the roof was hard and to get the back of the wall that was hard too. I like the roof because you can do this. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, and I think that may be the end of your presentation. It Do is. we have two questions for Serena? Um, Molly. Um, how many cushions would there be? Dunno. Do you think? There'll be a lot because it'll hold like lots of people. Wait, I just want to see if it says how many people it might hold. No, but it'll hold about nine to seven people. So you'll need probably about nine to seven cushions. That was a good question. Yeah. One um, more question. Bryce. Did you enjoy making it? Yes. It was also very hard. Thank you, Serena. Let's give her a clap.